faith for family. I never had family. Most people do not have families. I had a huge fight with my son. Uh, first off, he says I'm a hater because I hate trans. And I never said that. I, uh, in fact, I go above and beyond with gays because of my situation with child molesters, which everyone usually wants to kill if they're real. Now, in my life, I dealt with too many insane weirdos who actually were child molesters, so they have no reaction. Oh, I took you to a Richard Roberts convention. Did you know in that convention that a guy had a boy in there and I think he was child molesting him? Yeah, it was really odd. He had the door locked and it really looked weird after we left. A day later. And he said that was a child molester. And ironically, I took my children there to be healed. Actually, I wanted to be healed. I mean, to be child molested and your children to be child molested, that's just too much. All right, so at any rate, um, I was hugely attacked by saying I hate trans. And <coughs> I wasn't able to um, go any further. Yeah, to say that, well, I automatically think that trans people, gay people, are child molesters and rapists. No, I do not. I don't know where. I don't know who brainwashed that thought into my child. Okay? That. Um, I, you know, I love my child and I went above and beyond saying gays, God bless all gays, because I hate child molesters. Now, gays are wrong, but of course, child molesters, that's the worst crime that you can do. Raping is one of the worst crimes, but child molestation of all, because you're child molesting, you're raping a child. And that's never dealt with. And people usually don't deal with it by blaming the person in the family. They're crazy for saying that. Oh my God, Latoya Jackson is totally out of her mind. Now, this would have been years back. For saying that her dad, Joe Jackson raped her. Oh, she is out of her mind. Philip McKenzie is out of her mind. She is totally insane saying that her dad raped her. Oh, how good her dad was to her. Oh, well, she decided to have a relationship with her dad. No, her dad whatever. She unfortunately was on drugs and um, did consensually have sex with her dad when she was an adult. That's pretty sad. I think it's gross. But, you know, uh, and then I'll never forget the stupid newspaper ad. Oh, a mom and a, and a son had the best sex in the whole wide world on the front page in 2016. So people were like, oh, oh, it's the end of the world. Actually, it really is with all the hell that's going on. I mean, really, really, really bad now. But yeah, it always was that way. You know, you're always going to have, you know, praising the best sex. And it's between a mother and a son. Now, the most saddest story, one of the most saddest stories, is a girl who was um, raped in uh, work place. So, I, she was in an Amish town. Okay. And, um, 
A guy just made a video of an old woman and said the saddest story ever told. I guess that's the picture of the woman on the video. And so she's in a very, very small town a long, long time ago. They made it through uh, farms, farming, and they let her go work on a farm to bring back more money for the family. Now, what happened was a sick man adult took advantage of however old she was, 13, 14, 15. All right. She got pregnant. They took her child away from her. That did scar her. But she's not allowed to say anything. That's a big deal. Okay, being pregnant nine months, hiding that, keeping that to yourself. And that's, I didn't never kept anything of myself. You know, I'm violated. I tell people about, oh, oh, I'm crazy for saying the truth. So, unfortunately, this girl never ever dated. Okay, she's like in her 30s or something and still never dated. Oh, well, well, you know. I mean, I should watch the video again. Okay. So, she lived by her... So, she was shunned uh, by her family because she did meet a guy and he was younger than her. Okay. She might have married the younger man. Okay. She um, had dinner in a small town. Well, this is my husband. We get along pretty well. Pretty good relationship. Okay? The person that came over to the dinner said, That's your son. And the family shunned her and said, You know, that's unspeakable and that... It's all her fault. How would she know that that's her son who she had a relationship with? And I mean, she's kept sheltered her whole life. The kid was taken from her when it was a baby. There would be no way that she would actually know, right? So maybe out of her whole life, guess they were married for a year. Okay. Well, they were going to get married. All right. She died alone. It just a few people brought her food and stuff. She was growing old and she died on her own. Okay. That's really sad. <laughs> that, you know, people are completely ignored. It should never be. 